Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to, ooh, sorry, welcome to your monthly reading for the month of August of 2021. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up, guys? So, uh, general reading. Yes, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This isn't going to resonate for everyone, but, you know, general reading. Um, so, yeah, and the roles could be reversed here. We could be talking to a cross-watcher, so please keep that in mind as well. Um, if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All of the information can be found in the description box below. Also, if you'd like some extra monthly content or if you'd just like to support the channel, go ahead and check me out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can also be found in the description box below. Last thing I want to mention is that this is a timeless reading, you guys, all right? So even though this is coming out for the month of August, it doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. Yes? Cool. All right, first things first, um, I just want to say I'm having a little bit of allergy trouble today. So I'm probably going to be sniffling a little bit. But anyway, um, let's get into this here. I have your pre-shuffle energy Taurus. And I'm, I'm, there are a lot of cards here. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. There are a lot of cards here. Um, only two of them have fallen face up. And then there's this whole stack of them that's fallen face down. And it's funny because when I was pulling the cards, I heard this thing plop on the, on the table. But it didn't look like much at first. Now I see. It's like seven cards. But okay. Uh, the main focus, the main energy for you right now, Taurus, um, the first thing I saw was the Three of Pentacles. And when I heard, when I saw the Three of Pentacles, I heard rebuilding. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Ten of Swords, okay? And underneath the Ten of Swords is the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. To the Two of Pentacles, to the Ten of Pentacles, to the Ace of Swords. And all of this, all of this is supporting what I'm feeling for you right now. So... When I saw the Three of Pentacles, Taurus, I heard rebuilding. And then I saw at the bottom of the deck, I saw the Ten of Swords. And the first thing I felt when I felt when I saw that was relief. So there is a there is a there is a phase in your life that is coming to an end right now. And it feels like you are very much focused on building or maybe even rebuilding, but building for the next phase. So there could be some things that in your life that may have kind of crumbled or you may have had to like reassess that, you know, may have come apart a little bit that you are reshaping and rebuilding for the next phase in your life. Um, almost like remodeling something, an aspect of your life or something like that. For others of you, this is something completely brand new, and it has everything to do with what has come to a close for you in your life so far. Ten of Swords, okay? Um, Ten of Swords, yeah. Um, with this, okay, with this, you have, so you have the Three of Pentacles, which is talking about this rebuilding phase. This I, I literally just heard this new rebuilding for this next phase or new chapter in your life. With the Three of Pentacles, you have the Chariot, Taurus, all right? So you're really moving forward. This is a fast moving, I mean, it's a fast moving energy. Don't get me wrong. However, you may not necessarily notice how fast things are actually moving. The speed at which things are coming together in your life is completely irrelevant, okay? But what I am getting from the chariot here is that you are bound and determined to move forward, to move into this next phase of your life. Everything within you is in alignment. Everything, everything within you is working in tandem or working together to get you moving forward, to get you to this next phase, whatever this next phase is for you, okay? All right, let's um, dive down the rabbit hole a little bit and <laughs> and get into these seven cards that have come out here that have fallen face down. Give me a second. Four of Wands, the Hanged Man, the Empress, the Eight of Swords, Strength, Judgment, Page of Wands, and Knight of Cups. Okay.
please excuse the sniffles, you guys. I'm so sorry. I don't even know where these allergy symptoms are coming from, but if it figures when I'm doing the earth signs, my allergies start to flare up. And I am allergic to just about everything that has like pollen in it or whatever. Just about everything that's natural that, you know, I'm allergic to it. Anyway, um, these are good. This is a good energy here, Taurus. I'm just trying to, I mean, I get the overall gist. Um, but it doesn't really feel like it's much that's necessary to talk about, to be honest with you. The Four of Wands, the Hanged Man and the Empress, the Four of Wands is uh, spiritual stability, okay? F uh, spiritual foundation, emotional or, or creative foundation within yourself. Um, feeling feeling like there's a, there's a strong creative connection within you. Like, even though you may not necessarily really be creating anything right now, but just having that strength within you, having that bond, having that stability is really nice and really good. You have that with the Hanged Man and the Empress. Um, the Hanged Man is representing a change in perspective after having been in a really tough or a really tough period or a, ter a period in which you felt like you were stuck or stagnant, which is also being reflected here with the Eight of Swords. Um, but the Empress is coming through giving you a sort of fertility now to create something new, okay? The Empress is that earthly energy, all right? You have this also with the Eight of Swords, like I showed you here. Strength, Temperance, Page of Wands, Knight of Cups. So strength and this is... Strength is talking about the strength to get you out of this this period, to, to, to pull you out of your ego, to pull you out of this um, this confinement here, Eight of Swords. Judgment is the wake-up call for you to re-identify yourself, change the game, move in a new direction, Page of Wands. And the Knight of Cups is you moving forward with your heart chakra in focus, okay? I'm, Knight of Cups, I said that right, correct? Anyway. All right, cool. I, I, honestly, Taurus, if there were more to really dive into or to pick apart there, I would do it. But it just, it just felt like a generic explanation. Um, really, nothing too important to to spend so much time discussing. So we're just gonna move forward. But ultimately, those are good energies for you. Okay. They're very good energies for you. There's a lot of energy of you moving forward, breaking free, um, gaining a sense of. Okay, for some of you, I heard gaining a sense of sobriety, whatever that means for you. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're completely not drinking or something like, you know what I mean? But like, it doesn't even, it really doesn't even, when I hear that for you, Taurus, gaining a sense of sobriety, it's not like you've been overdoing it. Maybe some of you have, and maybe you have actually like cut out intoxicants and, and substances like that and whatnot, which are great, which is great. But Overall, the meaning feels like it's just gaining a sense of sobriety, like like gaining a sense of mental clarity, coming back to yourself, understanding things as they truly are. Like seeing, for some of you, this sense of sobriety means getting out of the intoxication of the collective and, and like opening your eyes to what's actually really happening around you or something like that. You know what I mean? Like it, it has a feeling of like coming down to earth or coming back to reality or I want to be very careful when I say something like that coming back to reality because reality is literally what you make it. Um, okay. See what's now what's come out here is the 10 of wands to the queen of cups. So, so a, a level of coming back to reality for you, Taurus could be recognizing how you're being over nurturing or over available to people or how you need to have stronger boundaries in your life because you're over giving with the queen of cups and the 10 of wands. For some of you, it feels like you've actually taken on more than you can handle, more than you can chew. It didn't necessarily feel that way or that you didn't, it didn't seem that way in the beginning. Um, actually, some of you may be facing taking on something more than you can, because I was just picking up on that, right? Um, the taking, uh, accepting more than you're really responsible for, or biting off more than you can chew. And now, the, and, and that came through with the Ten of Wands and the Queen of Cups. But now we have the Page of Pentacles that just came out with that. And the Page of Pentacles can represent a commitment, making a commitment to something. I feel like some of you are facing making a commitment here that could end up being way more than you thought, uh, way more than you could possibly handle is what I'm hearing. Maybe that's how you end up feeling about it. Or maybe it's more than you could possibly handle. But I feel like you're facing taking this position or taking on this responsibility or making some sort of commitment like this 
because of your loving, caring, and nurturing nature. And now we have the Wheel of Fortune. So Taurus, um, okay. Now for some of you, this could mean that there is a change here. So maybe in the past, you were the type of person to overcommit yourself to something out of sheer love and compassion, Queen of Cups. Uh, but now with the Wheel of Fortune coming out with that, I feel like Taurus, you could be changing that. You could be changing that aspect of yourself. Yeah, death is at the bottom of the deck. Yes, okay, so there's a transformation there. Some of you are becoming very much more reserved. You're keeping to yourselves a lot more. You're not really offering too much. You're not trying to give too much. I mean, you're there, you're open. You're there to be of service. You're there to help, Queen of Cups. But at the same time, um, I just get this feeling that you're keeping to yourself a lot now because of this. Um, this is how the Wheel of Fortune, this is the, the, the change that is being represented here. That's a good thing. Uh, for many of you, that sounds like, or that translates into having more boundaries or better, stronger boundaries. That's really good. That's really, really good. All right, Taurus, let's get into the rest of this here, but hold on a second. Let me pause and blow my nose first. All right, that's a little better. Um, I'm still a bit stuffy, but we'll get through this. Yeah, so I'm gonna give this five shuffles for you, Taurus, and we're gonna see what else we have for you for this message. Yes, here we go. This is one for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August, 2021. Uh, please make sure to check to, to make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising signs. This is two to get a complete picture as to the messages for you for this time period. Yeah, this is three. Also, Taurus, if you're looking for love messages specifically, I recommend you check out your Venus sign or the Venus sign of your potential mate, your person of interest, or your actual partner. Yeah, this is four. For my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2021, and this is five. You know what's interesting, Taurus? I'm going to cut the deck. Alright, what's interesting for you, Taurus, is that it doesn't really feel like there's all too much to really talk about going on in your energy right now. So I kind of feel like this reading is gonna be, well, it's gonna continue to be a little bit scattered. And it's not that your energy is scattered, it's just that there is a lot that's, what I'm feeling for you, Taurus, is that there's a lot that's up in the air, or there's a lot that's not completed yet, or that's still in the process of generating, I wanna say gestating. So it's kind of like a void period, that your energy feels like you're in, you're just in a void right now which is not bad, okay? It's not like you're you're in this void because something terrible has happened and now, you know, you need to go through this massive reset. It feels like you're in this void because you're traveling, Taurus, energetically. I keep seeing the chariot in my head. Even though I'm feeling this void for you, this lack of action or this lack of, like, it's like just like there's a bunch of empty space around you energetically. I keep seeing the chariot for you. So it's not like you're just in this completely void space where nothing is happening or nothing's going to happen. You're actually in this void period because you're transitioning, you're traveling energetically from one energetic, from one energetic uh, time period or from one time period or one reality in your life to the next. So you're, it's like you're in this in-between phase, okay? Sorry for the sniffling, you guys. I don't know why my allergies are bothering me today, but whatever. Overall energy for you, Taurus. Strength. This is good. Uh, what I'm hearing for you, what I'm feeling for you also, Taurus, is having the strength to move forward. I, it just feels like, Taurus, you just have, you just, there's just nothing going on around you right now. But that's not the case. I keep hearing, I just heard gestational period, okay? And so this strength energy is having the strength to move forward through it, having the strength to hold yourself back or hold your, hold your ground, I wanna say. Underneath strength though, Taurus, is the five of swords. Underneath the five of swords is the lovers. And then you have judgment again, put the three of pentacles again, all right? <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Um, I'm not going to lie, Taurus, this Five of Swords energy is throwing me off right now. Because I was not expecting that. I don't, I don't necessarily feel where that is coming from in your life, that Five of Swords energy. The only thing that I can say, the only thing that I really want to say about that, Taurus, is it feels like you, there is a choice that has been made. There is a choice that's been made with the lovers here. Okay, and when the lovers, the lovers represents a choice, it does, it does represent romantic, like, soulmate, or not soulmate, but like divine partnership relationships or whatever. But also, the lovers represents a choice. And I feel like, Taurus, you're moving forward towards something and you had to choose to sacrifice something for it. That's what I'm getting with this Five of Swords energy. there was some sort of sacrifice involved. And it could just be as simple as you deciding not to engage with anything any longer, literally putting down your sword and just walking away, like picking your battles. Uh, the Five of Swords energy it is definitely, can definitely represent picking your battles, choosing your battles wisely, choosing when and where, when to fight and when to not fight. And I don't know why it's coming through as like a sacrifice, but it's, it's, it's like you're choosing not to engage with something. And that is effectively what is moving you forward. It's, a, it's like as you are moving forward, I, well, I can't tell. I can't tell if this is you're moving forward because of this choice or you may, uh, or you're moving forward because of this choice or be, or you made this choice and now you're moving but that's just, that's the same thing how would it be how would it be reversed how would you phrase it so that it's reversed Eric you made the choice and now you're moving forward or you're moving forward anyway and a choice had to be made however that resonates for you and then underneath everything yeah you have judgment again okay I just, I don't know why, Taurus, but I'm looking at this Five of Swords and I keep feeling some sort of sacrifice. I don't know what this it means for you, but if this resonates for you, you'll know, you'll know what that means. Okay. Okay, I just heard letting something go in order to move forward. And then you have the Strength card here, which is you like kind of holding yourself together, being like, you know what, I can't get involved with that any longer, or I can't be engaged. I can't engage with that any longer. Like, why am I want Why am I stabbing myself in the chest right now? I just heard putting an end to something. An ego death. Oh. Oh, Taurus, you're going through an ego death. Okay. That's what strength is talking about. That's what the lovers is talking about. That's what the five of swords is talking about. You're having to make a choice to choose to go in a direction that will serve your highest good, not necessarily the direction that your ego would want you to go in. Okay. Now I get it. Cool. Let's move forward. So first half, second half of your reading. In the first half of your reading, we're gonna look at the past energies up until the current moment. And then in the second half of your reading, we're gonna look at the current moment off into the future. Yes? Excellent. First set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus, in the first half of your reading. You have the 10 of swords again. Listen, somehow, some way, your ego has been running the fuck amok. And whatever it is that you have decided to move towards or decided against it's bringing an end to a, a tough like a tough cycle a tough cycle of you probably being your worst enemy in a in a in a in a number of different ways is what i'm hearing <laughs> okay interesting the ten of swords is coupled with the two of swords juggling there was a sense of denial here uh okay what i'm getting with the ten of swords and the two of swords mainly the two of swords is that there was a level of resistance there is an end to the resistance here i this feels 
Taurus, this literally feels like that final straw or that final moment where you just like, where you just throw your hands up in the air and you're like, all right, fine universe, I surrender. I'm gonna give up the fight, I'm gonna give up the struggle, I'm not gonna fight against this any longer. I'm not gonna deny this any longer. Interesting. Sorry guys, hold on. Okay, moving forward. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus, in the first half of your reading. You have the moon. Okay, first thing I heard when, when I saw the moon was the illusion is over. Um, and then I just got this feeling and this image of being able to see through something. And now, now that I'm, mm -hmm, now that I'm talking through this, I'm picking up on shadow energy. So I think what you're seeing past or what you're seeing through is deep. I think you're seeing deeper into your own shadow side or um, some of the shadows that you've been ex dealing with in your life. I just get this strong sense of seeing past the illusion or something being revealed to you or maybe not even revealed maybe something being understood you coming to an understanding of something a deeper understanding of something something that may have been hidden from you but also something that you actually may have been actively hiding from yourself through denial okay so there this this is representing you could be going through or have just come out of a period of a shit ton of shadow work very, very deep cleansing, healing, and refreshing shadow work, okay? You may be coming out of this period, standing in this energy for yourself, feeling like a brand new person, feeling almost feeling like you don't know the person that you are at this point because of how much you've changed and how much you've grown and evolved through this level of shadow work with the moon here, okay? The moon is coupled with the Knight of Pentacles. Good. 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 So what it feels like here, Taurus, is you have been, like, in terms of, like, the past up until now, you have been slowly but surely, step by step, instance by instance, moment. What is really, Orion? Is it really that serious? Oh, my goodness. He's going to die, apparently. <laughs> Sorry, that was my cat. Anyway, one of my cats. Orion, do you mind? I'm kind of busy over here. Anyway, Taurus, it feels like you have slowly but surely, methodically have been working through this shadow period. Knight of Pentacles and the moon. And, and quite frankly, Taurus, I feel like you've really been taking this seriously. It's like a... What I'm hearing, it's now or never, or do or die. Five of Swords. The Five of Swords can also be uh, an against all odds type of energy, right? Very, I, I was hearing with this night moon and the Knight of Pentacles, it's now or never. It's do or die. Shit or get off the pot. Like that kind of energy. Like you, you, you did the damn thing or you're doing the damn thing like you're 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 moving through it it just feels like this moment and this this may be why we have the two of swords and the ten of swords here in the beginning of the reading because it feels like there was a moment where you just kind of let go and said okay fine we're gonna do this then and so you took it on knight of pentacles and you started facing your shadow side the moon now, it does kind of feel like some of this could be going on. However, with that chariot energy that came out in the beginning of the reading in the pre-shuffle for you, Taurus, it feels like a bulk of that work is already done. And now you're just kind of in this cruising phase, okay, where a lot of the energies, a lot of the burdens and stuff have been released from you and you can actually move forward in, in a pretty uh, forceful way, I want to say. Okay. Your challenge here, Taurus, in the first half of your reading. Ah, the Page of Wands. So the Page of Wands is back. Um, following through with this new endeavor with this, I mean, what I'm getting from the Page of Wands is excitement, exuberance. I feel like, Taurus, there might be a small amount of resistance. There might be an element of you kind of starting something and then like kind of getting spooked or something like that and then not following through with it. 
not continuing with it. And what I'm getting with the Page of Wands, your challenge right now is to continue moving forward with this change in alignment, really, is what I want to call it. Change in perspective, this change in your life, this new creative project, this new phase, whatever this is for you, Taurus, your challenge here is to continue moving forward with it. The Page of Wands is coupled with the Devil. Oh. Challenging you. Past circumstances, old allegiances, old alliances, old addictions, old associations, old toxic ties, whatever, could be trying to tempt you or trying to knock you off this path, trying to keep you from real, fully realizing this complete change, this new chapter. It's like old circumstances or old en energies or old environments could be trying to hold you back from this. And, and coming through, and, and, and this doesn't necessarily need to be in the form of another person. This could be the form of your ego or your inner monologue or like whatever. But like trying to say or trying to convince you, you don't really want that. You don't want to go through with that. Like, come on, what is that? Like, really, what is that though? Like, is that even really worth it? Like, come on. Like, what is this? And no, don't, don't even, don't even listen to that Taurus, okay? Don't, I don't even want to talk about that anymore. Moving forward, closing message or potential outcome for you here in the first half of your reading, Taurus. You have the Wheel of Fortune. Good, okay? Things are changing. You just have to keep moving forward with it. The Wheel of Fortune is coupled with the Tower. Yep, 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 yep. I'm hearing an extended period of time. So Taurus... There, there, and this really just mainly feels like it's on an energetic level, okay? It doesn't necessarily even feel like this is really taking shape in your physical reality yet. What I feel like here, the Tower and the Wheel of Fortune are representing a major energetic reset for you. Which could be why you're in this void period, because it's like the, the Tower comes down, everything has to settle, and then you have to start rebuilding energetically. So in the physical realm... In the physical realm, there isn't. There really may not be much happening around you or may not seem like there's much happening around you, but energetically, there is a massive reset happening. And the energies have to come apart or fall apart in order to re or be reorganized and come back together. So it's lit like, and, and it's funny because that's kind of how the tower looks here. If you look in the middle of the card, it's like there's that, it's like, if you just look at the whole card, it's like things are, are coming apart at the bottom here, you see how things are coming apart here and, and like that. But then at the top, it's it's there's a form. What I'm what I'm seeing in my mind is things like this moment where everything kind of explodes, and then some things fall away, some things don't. It's like this one big swirl. It's this swirl of energy, this swirl of energy, and then all of a sudden it implodes or it comes back together, right? And you're in this phase, this part of the energy right now, Taurus, where you're in the middle of it and everything's kind of swirling around and things are still falling apart and things are getting rejected and accepted. And, and you know, the energy is doing its thing. You could kind of call it creative chaos. That's what I just heard. The energy is doing its thing, but things that it has not come to physical form yet because the energy is still shifting. Okay. Cool. All right, Taurus, let's move forward. Second half of your reading, yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus. So we're going to be looking at the current energies up until the future, yeah? Excellent. First set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus. In the second half of your reading, you have the Queen of Wands. Good. Keep your alignment strong. Keep your alignment safe and secure. You are safe and secure within your alignment also. Remember that. Keep that in mind. Keep that in the forefront of your focus, okay? You are safe and secure in your alignment as you go through this period, all right? Everything is accounted for. You are, you, like, the universe has not abandoned you. Everything is good, okay? Work here. Maintain your efforts here. Queen of Wands, what does that mean? The Queen of Wands represents your divine alignment, what it is exactly that you want or what it is you feel the best in terms of being in alignment with something. Like, whatever feels, whatever alignment feels the best for you, regardless as to what that is. Whatever feels best for you is where you need to remain energetically. You need to remain in energetic alignment with that. 
that is where your focus needs to be at the current moment moving forward and moving forward okay queen of wands is now now hold on wait they don't want they want me to really drive this home for you taurus they really want me to make sure that you understand that regardless as to what kind of chaos is happening in your life what may be happening or what may not be happening right or what may seem like is not happening taurus your alignment is the most important thing for you to keep your focus on right now because that's going to help get you ultimately where you want to go, okay? Excellent. Queen of Wands is coupled with... D Look at... I, sh you, I swear to God, Taurus, you can't make this shit up. The Magician, okay? Your alignment is the most important aspect for you right now because it is with your alignment Okay, what it is you feel energetically aligned to, meaning when you feel through it, when you think about it, if it feels good, keep moving in that direction, Taurus, because that is exactly what you are manifesting, regardless as to what it looks like outside in the external right now, whether it looks like nothing is happening or, it, or it's the exact opposite. I just feel like, I feel like spirit is really driving this message forward for you right now because it looks like nothing is happening for you when it's the exact opposite on the contrary in the in the energetic realms yes it's all the pieces are coming together the, ooh, what i just heard is the pieces are terraforming have do you, are you familiar with what terraforming is terraforming is when you go to a planet and you um I, i'm not a scientist and so I'm probably like really butchering this description, but you basically create um, a, a surface on this planet that you can live on, that you can cultivate. It's like, it's like when you terraform a planet, you're making it inhabitable where it may, may not have been in the beginning. You know what I mean? So the terra, it's, so, so the, 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 the foundation, the platform, pieces are all coming together, Taurus, all right? Let's move forward. Second set of surrounding energies for you in the second half of your reading. You have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Uh, what I'm hearing for the Six of Pentacles for you, Taurus, is driving focus. This is what's driving you. This is where your focus is. Reciprocity. The balance between give and take. Not overworking yourself. Okay. Not overextending yourself. But being able to be there and be of service to give and also receive. That is exactly what it is you're moving forward towards. That is what the core of this alignment is for you. Moving forward towards a reciprocal, a more reciprocal situation. For some of you, that does that is translating into work. Somehow being in some sort of position where you are uh, generating an income but not doing it in a typical way of working a nine to five with ridiculous amounts of overtime that you may, may not even really get paid for this, you know, that kind of energy. Six of pentacles is coupled with the king of swords. If it's not a reciprocal situation, it doesn't get, it doesn't, it doesn't get added to the alignment is what I want to say. You're being very focused on, uh, you, you, you have a keen eye out right now, Taurus, in terms of what is reciprocal and what is not, what is balanced and harmonious and what is not. And it's not even like you're trying to be an asshole about it. This is not queen of swords energy. This is king of swords energy. So you're being very logical, very methodical even in some cases, very objective. It doesn't matter who's involved. It doesn't matter what the situation involves. It doesn't matter if, if it's one of your favorite things or not. If it's not balanced, if it's not reciprocal, it's a no-go. Beautiful. One second. Okay. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Taurus, is the Ten of Cups. Now, the Ten of Cups for you, I did, I mean, I did get a little bit of a twinge of family and community. Okay. Um, that because the Ten of Cups can represent that. But also, what's in the forefront of your focus right now, your challenge, Taurus, is moving forward towards whatever would be that sense of ultimate emotional fulfillment for you. And the challenge here that I'm getting is needing to have faith that you will achieve it at the right time. You'll get there. And that's why your alignment is so critically important right now. Taurus, I really feel like you're coming out of an old phase. What this old phase was, the Ten of Swords, was you being so out of whack or so out of alignment that things were just almost chaotic for you all the time. 
You never really seem to get where it is you wanted to go. You never really seem to get what it is you wanted to begin with or what you set out to achieve to begin with. But now all of that is changing. I heard terraforming again. It's like your, your reality, your world, the planet of you is now starting to really come together, is really starting to take form and take shape. And that's why your, your alignment is so important. I, like literally, Taurus, I'm seeing you... I'm I'm getting um I'm getting a figurative picture of like you as a planet literally you as a planet coming together building a foundation for your existence and what it is you wish to and it's so funny Taurus because like you're you're the sign of the earth like oh, sure there are all earth signs but Taurus you are the closest association to like mother gaia okay like, you literally are the earth. <laughs> okay. So that's really interesting that I'm seeing you that way right now. Okay. Ten of Cups is coupled with the Nine of Cups. See? And, okay, so your challenge here, this is an excellent challenge, Taurus, because you're challenged with going or aligning with exactly what it is that will make you happy. Not any of this like compromise. Oh well, you know, I really want this, but that's probably a little too, a, a little the two of a high, high, uh, high, uh, aiming a little bit too high there. Let me like water it down a little bit. Nah, fuck that. No, not anymore. What exactly is it that you want, Taurus? I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna get it the way you see it in your head, but that does. But also. Just because it may not actually transpire or show up the way that you are envisioning it doesn't mean that something like it can't happen. Doesn't mean that you can't shoot for a similar situation or a similar feeling or a, you know what I mean? Like, you don't have to dumb anything down. You don't have to water anything down. What the universe is literally asking you, Taurus, what is it do you want? And be specific with me, it, they just said. Be specific with me. What do you want? And let's bring that forward for you in the best way we possibly can. I love that. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Taurus, in the second half of your reading is the Seven of Wands. Keeping up your boundaries, keeping up, keeping up the fight for the good fight, okay? And what is the good fight here? Fighting on behalf of yourself. This Seven of Wands is you maintaining your boundaries so that you can continue moving forward. This is you staying committed to whatever change you're making or generating or cultivating or manifesting in your life. Keeping the trajectory going is what I'm hearing with this Seven of Wands energy. Conviction. The Seven of Wands is coupled with the Seven of Cups. Okay. Okay. That makes sense because yes, like I said, there's a lot that's up in the air for you right now, okay? So maintaining your boundaries, not, and that's also where the devil could be coming in and trying to influence you in terms of what it is you're manifesting now. Keeping your thoughts clear, keeping your mind open to the possibilities, but not so open that you lose sight of what it is you actually want. Maintaining your boundaries in this slightly vulnerable time where you could be susceptible to some negative entities coming in, trying to capitalize on what it is you're working on creating so that they can get something out of it for themselves or they can, you know, work their, weasel their way into the situation somehow. But no, that's what this Seven of Cups energy could represent for you, this time period where something really negative or some sort of devilish or narcissistic type of situation could weasel its way in to your manifestation through the confusion. But that's why you have the Seven of Wands here keeping up the defenses. No, 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 no. I don't think so. You're going to have to keep your ass back there. Yeah? Because you weren't invited in here. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Excellent, Taurus. I like this for you. We're going to close out your reading. Ooh. Yes, and since we're, since we're envisioning you as a planet, we're going to go with the Gaia Oracle for your closing Oracle guidance, yeah? I mean... This is a cute idea. You know, this is a cute idea, but honestly, Taurus, what do we want? The Crystal Mandala deck. We're actually, I've been wanting to go with the Crystal Mandala deck this whole reading. So I'm sorry, changing my mind. Crystal Mandala deck. Okay, here we go. You're allowed to change your mind, by the way, Taurus. I said that to someone. Who did I, who was I saying that to? I don't remember what sign. I think it was... 
maybe Aquarius or Gemini? No, Libra or Gemini. I don't remember. Five shuffles for you, Taurus. One. But yeah, you're allowed to change your mind. Absolutely. This is two. This is three. For my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2021, or just this time period for you. This is four. And this is five. All right, Taurus. So let's see. What have we got for you? Closing Oracle Guidance for you, Taurus. Closing. Closing. Oracle Guidance for my Taurus, please, Spirit. Closing Oracle Guidance for Taurus, please, Spirit. Beautiful. Oh, I'm really glad I went with this deck now. Card number 41. Goddess Ishtar and Astrophilite. Daring Rebirth. Look at that. Okay, Taurus. Card number 41. Daring Rebirth. We bring you the empowerment of Daring Rebirth. The bold spirit in you claims the divine, defi the divine defiance of the phoenix. It refuses defeat at every turn. No matter who or what may seek to overpower your spirit, your peace, your loving heart, and your wild optimism, you shall triumph in a divine and daring rebirth. Do not limit yourself with expectations, whether from another or your own mind. There is so much possible for you a radically different and new you to become. Believe, and so shall it be. Beautiful Taurus. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so freaking much. I hope you have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Bye. <laughs>